Welcome to the Northwest Adventure, and today's episode is Three on the Tree. I'm heading east on State Route 530, also known as the Oso Memorial Highway. If you don't know about Oso, Google it and you'll hear what happened in 2014. So take a good look at the scarp on Hazel Hill. Approximately 650 to 700 feet of it came tumbling down. It dammed the Stilly River and took 43 lives. As you all know, life is uncertain, so stay safe, my friends. So once we cross this bridge, we're almost at Grandmother's house. And this is where I'm going to break out the TR-50 the Berna HD, and the Walther PPQ, less lethals, and test them out on some spaghetti squash. Shh, be very, very quiet. So this video will show you the penetration power of the 43 caliber, 50 caliber, and the 68. This video will answer many questions you may have about these projectiles. After we plink off these rounds in the wilderness, I'm going to take you back to my home and dissect these three different squash. And from there, you'll be able to witness the penetration power or the lack thereof. All right, buddy, it's your turn to get blasted. Here's my Berna HD. Which one do you have, the HD or the SD? Gee, Mom, look what I found. How many of y'all own the TR-50? Hey, that's Squash. He has my nose. The projectiles I'm using are the 50 cal Devastators which are made in Poland. They're made by Razor Gun, and I like these a lot. Sorry, bud, but only one of us can have that nose. Let's try the burner again. And yes, the burner can shoot six rounds in one magazine. Now it's time for some riot balls in the PPQ. See the damage of the T4E rubber balls? I highly recommend those. I went with the flat dark earth. You got the black or you got the blue and black? Or is it the black and blue? Now that I'm home, this is where you'll get to see the spaghetti squash up close and personal and see the damage it took from these three different calibers. 43 caliber P-51, 
PPQ, M2, LE, T4E, training for engagement. So here's what the rounds did to this squash. Well, they call it a spaghetti squash. So let's see if there's any meatballs inside. So I'm going to show you that first. That's the 43. And the next, I'm going to show you the Berna. What the Berna HD XL did. So there's the face of the squash. Okay. And the next is the HDR 50 or the TR 50, the T4E training for engagement. So here's what it did to the spaghetti squash, to the spaghetti squash, to the spaghetti squash. And the projectiles also made it through the back. Whereas with the Berna, it didn't. Neither did it with the 43 caliber PPQ. But that's pretty understandable. So anyways, we're gonna cut these open one at a time and extract the projectiles. So I'll use my Kershaw knife by Big Adrian Alexandrino. This is a Puerto Rican American Express card. I never leave home without it. This is a spaghetti swash. So as you can see, this big ass blade. Okay, so no rounds in there. I'm gonna pick these up. Hmm, got some splits as it bounced off the aluminum ball. Anybody else out there using the aluminum balls? Or are you going with the steel balls? Okay. Let's see what else is in there. Forty-three caliber projectiles, whether it be aluminum or the vinyl, they penetrate. And the rubber balls, not so much. I'm going to get that one real quick. <laughs> Removing these balls is about as tedious Just as cracking crab, dungeness crab, All right. that is. We'll throw this junk in the bag. All right, folks, don't forget to wash your balls. I just use a little bit of 
Joy dish soap. Same type of stuff I used in Kodiak. On the boats. If anybody's been on the boats, you know what's up with the Joy. All right, speaking of Joy, it's starting to rain. So let's do this real quick. All right, next we're gonna try the Bruna. So here's the damage of the Bruna like I showed you before. So let's just cut some of this stuff out. Let's just see how deep these Berna projectiles and the riot balls actually penetrated into the squash. All right, got one round right there. Hmm. Burners hit the squash pretty hard, but didn't really penetrate much of anything. And I did use the Berna Kinetics and the Riot Ball. All right, Berna Balls. Right about now, I feel like a surgeon with a scalpel. Next is the infamous TR-50. So, it pretty much split itself open itself. Doesn't need much help from the machete. So, what do we got? Devastator projectiles. If you're on the fence about which projectile to purchase for your TR-50, I'd recommend the Devastators. These are 50 caliber, if I haven't said so already. And let's just see what's in the middle of this Tootsie Pop. Whoa! <laughs> Just making this video got me all excited for some pumpkin carving later this year. You still carve pumpkins or what? I know there's more. Where there's one, there's another. So these riot balls actually kick ass. I like them a lot. Very inexpensive and they hit frickin' hard for these less lethals. And although you don't know me, trust me on that one. Okay. We've got more. Do any of y'all actually eat spaghetti squash? I don't recall I ever have. Hmm, if it's tasty, let me know in the comments. Send me a recipe. I'd love to check it out. Okay, that's about it. Made a mess, but had a hell of a lot of fun doing so. All right. So now y'all got to see the 43 caliber, the 50 caliber, and the 68. So if you're a spaghetti squash, yeah, I wouldn't want to be on the end of the 50 caliber at all. And the 43 did pretty well also. And the Berna, load that sucker up with pepper balls, and I believe you are good to go.
So, like I mentioned earlier, wash your balls, put some soap in it, get them all cleaned up, and reuse them as long as they're reusable and haven't cracked up. So, let's see what's on the floor. So this Devastator lost its ball, and so did that Devastator, and that Devastator didn't make it at all. But we've got an aluminum ball here, and actually it's steel. Now the Devastator is back to normal. Ooh wow. All right. Hopefully you learned something from this and this may help you find the right less lethal projectile launcher for your needs if you have any questions comments concerns or if you'd like to get your hands on one of these awesome sog rescues they're on amazon but it's a nice knife has a little piece back here for busting glass kaboom so there we go until then, it's the Northwest Adventure. Stay fresh and stay blessed. Now enjoy the sounds of a Northwest forest.